In this activity, a controller, model, view, and helper functions, six of them, are built and work in unison to upload image files for products that already exist in the inventory table. The controller is very limited. It handles only three processes, uploads, deletes, and the default process. The default process calls for the list of products to be queried from the database and then wrapped up in a select drop-down list, which will be displayed in the view. It also calls for any existing images to be retrieved, wrapped up in HTML, and be made available for display. Finally, it delivers the view. The model is responsible for writing images and product data to the new images table in the ACME database, retrieving a list of images from the database, and delete image information from the database. The helper functions added to the functions.php page in the library folder is where the heavy work is done. These six functions do everything from add a string hyphen tn to names to indicate that the new item is a thumbnail to actually carrying out the resizing of images to be web ready. The view consists of two parts. First, it provides a form for selecting an image and associating it with an existing product in the inventory table. The form then submits the data to the controller for storing the physical image file on the server and storing the data about the image to the database. Second, existing images are displayed in the view. Each image is accompanied by a link that triggers the process to remove the physical file from the server and the accompanying record from the database. When the uploads controller is run, the view should be delivered and if no images exist, a message indicating such is visible. Select a product and an image and submit the form. If things were successful, the view is once again displayed with a success message and two versions of the image, one regular and one thumbnail, should be visible. If you check the physical folder, you should see two versions of the image. If you check the PHP My Admin tool, you should also see two new records in the images table of the ACME database. When an images delete link is clicked, the page should load and display the results message. If the delete worked, the image should be removed from the view. Again, check the images folder and the physical file should be gone. Check the PHP My Admin tool and the database record should be gone as well. Image uploads can be daunting, but if you follow the process, it can be a valuable tool for any dynamic website.